What's up YouTube? This is Joy Neville back with another video. It is late. It's Saturday. We've had Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving was on Thursday. I had Thanksgiving Thursday, Friday, and I said today, after your son leaves, shout out to my son. He turned 25 today, Jeremy. He's got two twins. They're my grandbabies and his fiance, Ness. Happy birthday, Jeremy, and thank you for coming and spending the day with me. Um back to it. I'm meal prepping because I need to get back on track. It's Saturday evening. I wasn't even going to record. I'm in my pajamas, no makeup. I don't know what's going on up here, but you know what? It's almost 8.50 at night and I'm doing my meal prep, so I wanted to share it with you guys. If you're new to my channel, thank you for coming and joining our healthy sisterhood. Hit the subscribe button if you like positivity and you like motivation and you like health. Hit that subscribe button and stick around. And for all of you guys that have been around, I love you guys. You know who you are. And thank you for the support. You're all beautiful. Thank you. And yeah, let's get into this video. So, let me show you what I've already done so far, just so we don't have a really long video. I know I always say that. But you guys have seen me make these things. So, fresh veggies for the next couple days. With veggies, I cut them about three, four days at a time. I don't do too many because they go bad, so I, I like to keep them cut fresh. Then I got some fruit. We've got, this is actually left over, so I took it home. It's um, honeydew melon, cantaloupe, pineapple, and a couple of berries. So, fresh fruit. And then for lunches or snack, for like tuna wraps or tuna and veggie chips, I got tuna salad, it's got celery, dill pickle, sweet relish, onion, salt, pepper, pinch of cayenne, you guys know how I do it. So tuna salad, a little mayo, a little mustard. And so yeah, I've got protein, I've got some fruit, I've got some veggies. And then we are going to go over here because we are cooking and I've got all these ingredients so let me get you guys plugged in so I've got my lunch I've got veggies and fruits for snack I can put the tuna salad in wraps I can eat it with veggie chips I could put it on a lettuce salad and have it like that so it's pretty versatile here I'm doing an Asian stir fry so let's get into this. So we've got ground chicken, of course, lean ground chicken, browned up. I just salt, pepper, onion powder, garlic powdered it. That's it so far. I'm going to add, I buy these at this place called Cash and Carry. It's like a place that sells a lot of restaurant food. It's almost like a Costco, big bulk. I've got this big bag of Caribbean blend vegetables. So it's got in it broccoli, yellow carrots, green beans, and red bell peppers. So it's a nice blend. So I'm just going to dump some of this in there. This is going to be my dinner for the next four days, and then we'll switch out. By the way, this dinner is only going to have, per serving, 112 calories per serving. So how awesome is that? So, yellow carrots, green beans, broccoli, and of course, red bell pepper. When it steams up, let me get this going. It does shrink down a bit, so I'm going to try to fill up the pan a little bit more than this. Because bulking with veggies is the best thing you can do for your body. Fills up your tummy, gives you lots of vitamins. It's great. Okay, we'll start there and see how that works. I'm going to add a tiny bit of water. 
Probably about four tablespoons just to get these cooking and steaming up. So for our sauce, let's do our sauce and work on our sauce. We have soy sauce. You can use coconut aminos if you are low sodium. I'm going to add, let me see, one, two, let's do three tablespoons of soy sauce. About, that's a guesstimate guys, don't come for me. I'm going to add some sesame seeds, I get these in the 99 cent area at your local grocery stores, a lot of stores sell them. Sesame seeds really are good toasted in here, but they're really just for the looks of things, in my opinion. They don't have a ton of flavor. I'm going to do some red chili flake. If you don't like heat, leave it out. I'm just going to do half a teaspoon, maybe, just for some kick. Ginger paste, any kind of ginger, powdered ginger, chopped ginger, whatever you like. If you don't like it, again, leave it out. I'm going to do one teaspoon of that. This is all to your taste, you guys. If I had some orange juice or an orange, I would squeeze that in here. My friend uh, Cindy had mentioned using, um, what is it called, condensed orange juice in a can. And that sounded really good, like a tablespoon of that would make a good sauce too but it, that one's higher in sugar, but for a whole meal it wouldn't be that bad. This is garlic paste we're using. For my sweetener, I'm gonna add a little stevia. You could add honey, you can add guava, whatever you want. I'm just adding one squeeze of stevia for now. Let me get it. A little spoon. Now, I like to add sesame oil if you have it. Add a teaspoon or two into this. It's really delicious. I am out. I just was looking for it and I was so mad because I didn't realize I was out. But that's really good in here too. It's missing something. Oh, I know what it's missing. It's missing my chives, guys. <laughs> I love chives. So again, if there's something you don't have, swap it for something you do have. It's versatile, people. So there we go. That's the sauce. If I had a little bit of orange juice, I would squeeze it in here. Give these a toss. Look how pretty that is. So pretty. They're still kind of frozen, so I'm not going to add that quite yet. I'll be right back when these cook a little bit. Okay, guys, these are cooked down. I don't want to cook them too much. I don't like them mushy. So it took about four and a half, five minutes, somewhere in there. I got my sauce. I ended up adding two teaspoons of honey because it just... It just needed that sticky texture, in my opinion. So it's more, it'll glaze the vegetables a little better. So now it's just a little bit better coated. So two teaspoons is all I needed. Mix this up. We're going to dump this on here. And we're going to cook this for about two or three more minutes. And easy breezy. Dinner is done. Super easy. I am not one to fuss about meal prepping. I find what I like, I find what works, and I cook it. And what works for me is lean meats, lots of veggies, I like a little bit of fruit. It just works for me, so, you, I mean, Chicken is so versatile. You can do so many things with ground chicken. You guys know I do a cauliflower stir fry that I love. I do a green bean chicken alfredo that I love. And this one is a chicken Asian stir fry that I love. 
Just do what you like because trying to get back on track after Thanksgiving is hard. You want to make food you are craving or food you enjoy. And I was craving like a teriyaki or an Asian type of food. And so this is somewhat in that vicinity. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna let this cook for probably about one more minute, and then we'll be back with the final result. Okay guys, here's the final product. I was getting a rub down with some Icy Hot from my husband. He's so sweet. I'm having a lot of lower back pain. I think I hurt my back. Um, I think I'm not sure but I'm getting like twinges in my back so icy hot does the trick for me so he just came and rubbed me down in the middle of cooking everybody needs a husband that will rub you down all right let's serve this up so I can show you guys my last little thing this is done and it's got a nice coating of that sauce but it's not too heavy it's just a light light coating for flavor it's not like a thick syrupy sauce so you don't have to worry about calories and then I'm gonna move this out of the way put a tiny bit of water in here Just to where it barely covers the bottom of the frying pan. Yeah, you can see. And then I'm going to cook up some of these. Let me see. Fully cooked mini wontons. Chicken and cilantro. The reason I like them is one, they're fully cooked. And two, they're mini. So, you can have four pieces for 50 calories of these little ones and that's perfect for a meal just toss four of them in your stir fry and eat them with your stir fry or you could dip them in soy sauce or whatever you like so I'm going to cook a bunch of these up for my meal prep too and I'm just going to take one or two servings two servings would be eight of them for 100 calories that's not bad at all you could even do that for lunch have eight of these some veggies, a side of fruit, good to go. That's why I like these. They're so cute. Well, that one's stuck together. You can get these at Costco. You can get these. Well, that's where I got them is Costco. But I've seen similar ones at Fred Meyer's and Albertsons and Safeway. They're just minis, but they're not that small to give you a reference. They're probably like a 50 cent piece size, a little bigger. So eight of them for 100 calories or four of them for 50 calories is perfect. Okay, so I've got my four servings in there or four days worth in there because I plan on eating eight for a serving which is a hundred calories unless you know things change during the week then I'll just cut it in half to 50 calories so crank this on high put the lid on it with that little bit of water in there and steam them up if you like crispy wontons I call these mundu in Korean mundu but if you like crispy wontons put them in your air fryer and it'll work just the same Super easy if you have an air fryer. If you don't, you could put them in the oven too. But um, crispy's good. I love crispy and I do them in the air fryer. But if I'm meal prepping them for the week, I'd rather just have them soft because they, they hold their texture. But when they're crisp and then you put them in the fridge for a couple days, they don't hold their texture. They're chewy. So this is just a better way for them to stay the same texture that you cooked them in. 
So, we're having like an Asian theme this week. <laughs> I was going to put that back. I'm going to let these steam up. And yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, I'm back. And I've got the pot stickers right here. They're steamed, and then I steam them until that little bit of water all evaporates, and then the bottoms of them get this little bit of brown crisp, and it's they're really good. Remember, you can have eight for 100 calories, or you can have four for 50 calories. What a good snack. They're really good. I didn't think that chicken, cilantro, and these would be good together, but they are. So, that took about four and a half minutes in the pan on high with just a few tablespoons of water at the bottom to steam them up. They're already cooked, so it wasn't that big of a deal. But here's my little Asian-inspired <laughs> meal prep. I have my pot stickers steamed and ready to go for the next four days. I have my um, Asian stir fry, vegetable chicken stir fry. I have my, I was eating that, it's really good. <laughs> I have my vegetables prepped and ready. I'll dip these in some boathouse ranch, which I love. I've got my fruit right here. Melon, cantaloupe, pineapple, and berries. And then I have my tuna salad with celery and pickle and onion and all that good stuff in here. And this I'll probably put in wraps or eat it on a salad or eat it with celery um, or dip veggie straws in it. They're like a chip and they're delicious. You've seen my other videos, you know what I'm talking about. But here's my meal prep, guys. This literally did not take long to do. Um, probably took about 20 minutes total, 25 minutes total maybe. It didn't take too long to do, so if you're someone that's trying to get back on track after a Thanksgiving or a holiday or just because you've just given up lately and you just don't care, I've been there, and um, you just got to do it. You got to make yourself do it. I know it's hard. I know it's easier said than done. But you just got to have some foods, you know, that you know are good for you and healthy for you and keep you on track that you enjoy in your fridge. Stuff you can grab. Even if you don't like leftovers and you don't want to meal prep, have some snacks in your fridge. Healthy snacks, yogurts, cottage cheese, veggies, fruits, stuff like that that you know you can snack on until you make your fresh meal. It's It's... It's so important just to get back on track. I know I say this every video, get back on track, get back on track. It's so important. It is. It's so important because I, I could lose control and fall off track so easily, and I do. I do. I just push myself to get back on track. Like tonight, I have pie in the fridge, Thanksgiving leftovers in the fridge, and I was like, no, you're not eating them. They have Popeyes. Let me show you. This is my guy's leftover Popeyes. I'm not touching it. I don't want it. I said I was going to have, this was going to be my last treat day from Thanksgiving. And then tomorrow I would meal prep. And no, as soon as my son left from his birthday and my grandbabies left, I said, no, you're going to meal prep. Get your butt back on track. Because it's important to me and it's important to my health and my body. And so I meal prepped and I'm going to be eating this stuff and I'm going to be logging on my fitness pal and getting back on track. And pretty soon, guys, we're going to have exercise coming back into play. You'll be seeing me all over the house exercising outside. Who knows? But I've got a plan that I'm trying to scheme up for that. So just stay tuned. Um, and I'm sorry if I'm dragging butt a little bit. I'm just tired. It's been a long week. And I'm ready to put my meal prep away. And then tomorrow I'm just going to have a shower and a lazy Sunday, which sounds so amazing right now. So to everybody out there that's just finishing your Thanksgiving, I know it was on Thursday, but if you're still eating from Thanksgiving or you're just eating whatever, get back on track. Go in that kitchen. I know it's late for me. For me, it's 9.25 at night, 9.35 at night. 
my clocks are all different in this kitchen. It's late and I meal prepped because I know when I wake up, I want to have food to eat. I'm gonna eat a little bit of this little veggie Asian stir fry and a couple wontons and some veggies for my dinner tonight and I'm gonna go to bed. I have not ate dinner yet. Yes, I know it's late. We had a long um, day today, but it was fun. I got to hang out with my grandbabies and my family and I love it. It's so gum. It's got a little bit of sweet, a little bit of salty, the Asian, you know, taste. Ginger, garlic, yum. So good. Anyways, love you guys. Thank you for watching. Um, subscribe, share my videos. Go to my Instagram, Joy Neville Health Journey. Go to my dog Bandit's page. It's Bull Mastiff Bandit Dog. He's got his own page. He carries in my groceries from the car, outside, from the trunk. He carries them in. He carries my mail in. He does my laundry. If you don't believe me, go check it out. They're like 20 second to two minute videos at the most. It's Bull Mastiff Bandit Dog. Go support the doggy. <laughs> Anyways, love you guys. It's been fun. Get back on track, guys. Do your meal prep and stay tuned. I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.